Hi everyone, it's Jan from Jan Plans Things and welcome to my Plan With Me video for August. And first off, I'd just like to say hello to everyone again. It has been quite a while since my last video. It turns out that my hand was a lot more injured than I thought. Um, I've been in a splint I think now for 10 weeks and I wasn't allowed to draw previously um, but the doctor, the physio has said now that um, I can do like little 30 minute bouts and basically I'm just trying to relearn how to draw again because <laughs> a lot of you tend to forget a lot of skills if you don't um, continually practice. So the spreads this week are a little bit different mainly because um, I wasn't able to fit in as many spreads with the 30 minute time um, limit that I had. Uh, so I basically did each one in 30 minute um, bouts and uh, I've tried to do a cover page, a monthly um, calendar as well as a weekly page with so basically my bare essentials that I need. I have missed doing my bullet journal so much. I mean, I feel like I've been way more disorganized without having like this thing next to me to hold everything together. I mean, it's also because I obviously couldn't write properly either, so it was very difficult difficult to take notes the last couple of weeks but um, so for those of you who can recognize her so far my theme for this month is card captor Sakura and um, I grew up in the 90s and therefore like Sakura was kind of like a little hero of my I absolutely loved her and I think recently maybe a few years ago there was the 20th year anniversary you know just kind of <laughs> make you feel old and um, they did release a new uh, series at the point but um, so a lot of these um, spreads are inspired by the art of card captor Sakura and also by Clamp who are the artists and um, this is based off a lot of their illustration books that I've collected over the past uh, 15 to 20 years so um, I've had it was a little bit different because first off I actually struggle a lot to draw people I'm an architect buildings come naturally people less so <laughs> I should show you guys sometimes what my people look like in my sketches of the buildings that I do they kind of just like stick like glorified stick people but they do kind of have like a sack body to kind of show you where everything is um I also because it'd been so long since I painted I couldn't remember which paints I liked using the most so I'm using a mixture of my whole bean paints because they have a nice bright transparent pink and a couple of my Daniel Smith paints because I think um even after a long time coming back to them it just makes it easier for you to mix because they're the 16 colors that I'm most used to and I can most expect um, like I can mostly anticipate how they'll react on the paper because I've used them so much I've got a couple of little bobbles on this page and I'm going to use a gold paint of course because I love the gold paint so much I'm always thinking to myself how can I incorporate gold paint into my spreads without um, without making it like another uh, another galaxy theme because I kind of done that one to death. I'm using a new gold paint this um, week and it is from Peppercorn Arts and it's from her like metallics palette and oh my goodness this is just fantastic. The paint is like molten metal. I couldn't believe it when I first put it on. It just went on so opaque and it was so easy to re-wet. Like in the past I've done you might have heard me mention about the Calero paints and when I use those I have to re-wet them first like spray them a little bit and then let the water sit and then I can um and then I can push the pigment around I did not have that problem at all with um the peppercorn paints they were just so so vibrant off the paint ready so super excited about that and I had heard really good reviews about that so I'm, I'm pretty happy that I bought a bigger pan of that one because I feel like it's going to become a staple going forward now. For my um monthly calendar I have um done the wand the second one, the upgraded one from Cardcaptor Sakura and I have that in the center and then I'm gonna have my dates um, kind of like orbiting around. They look little sparkles, it's kind of good. I've also added a few little Sakura petals and a few little stars just to add a little bit of interest to the page. It is pretty funny. Um, I've been using a normal diary for the past few weeks while I couldn't, you know, do it properly and 
it is um, it is kind of strange how like you can design your pages to fit you so I really really missed it um, in the past few weeks when I couldn't use the pages how I would normally use the pages I think your brain just kind of clicks differently so I think it was also a good exercise to show me how much I appreciated the um, the bullet journal system so much and also I just really really miss drawing and <laughs> and it's kind of it's kind of funny because like it's um, I miss like my weekly creativity I'm not sure that I can keep um, doing this every week for the next couple of weeks but I'm, I'm gonna try uh, I'm gonna try and draw more because I do miss it quite a bit and um, I did feel super duper rusty so it took me a while to sit down and think about what to draw what theme to have and just sketching it all out in pencil beforehand um, I tried to do the sketches a few days before so that um, I could throw slowly train strength back into my hand and now um, I'm pretty happy with my progress um, the physio says maybe another couple of months before I'm a hundred percent but um, I do have to train myself up again and it is it is um, it has been a little bit different for me but I have um, you know it has also been nice to kind of just sit down and think about what um, what I've been doing and you know how much I appreciate being able to speak to you guys and do this work and um, yeah basically I have missed you guys a lot <laughs> so for my weekly spread I'm doing um, Kero Chan use like the little Kiro, Kiro, mm, Kuro, uh, Kiro Chan, um, and he's the little guardian that she has, and a uh, guardian of the cloud, um, of the card, sorry, and um, he's going to be sitting in my central, um, my central page again this time, and this one was nice. <laughs> the other thing is, I guess, having that limitation on time, on how much I can draw in each spread, um, has made me think about how to do it a little bit faster and just draw faster. You know, sometimes I'm like, I do want to achieve this, so the best thing I can do is draw faster. Um, for those of you who are wondering how the kitties are doing, they're doing really, really well. They, you know, they snuggle together and sleep together now, and um, they, it's just so, so sweet how they've gotten along, and I don't regret a second getting a second one it was a bit tough for the first two weeks but now I'm just so happy they've been just um, absolutely fantastic and so the a few little updates on what I've been using as well I've switched my um, notebook cover to the new choose to do cover because I guess a lot of you asked me where my previous covers came from and they were sold out they don't make them anymore but this new one Perfect for my Magical Girl Sakura theme. Nice, bright pink, holographic, shiny as well. And um, and then it also is available, thank goodness. <laughs> this is a new thing that I found recently. It's like a sparkly gold pen that you can get from AliExpress. Um, and it is really nice, nice, strong, glitter, opaque pen. Um, the only thing is when you're using a gel pen, I haven't used it in a while because the LT paper is quite coated, the ink kind of just sits on the top and you have to be quite patient in letting it um, letting it dry. And I actually found that after I added the date bubbles for this spread, it looked a lot better. Like it felt like it was a lot more complete. So, um, so I was, yeah, I was overall pretty happy with this. Magical Girl theme is a pretty good way to incorporate sparkly stars without doing space, I have to say. And I'm pretty proud of myself for being, able to get to being able to get this up. I mean, um, you know, not being able to do anything for the past two months has been a little bit um, nerve-wracking, but, um, you know, what doesn't break you makes you stronger. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a lot more videos to you guys in the future, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!